Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing ARIA 2 Web UI on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install ARIA 2, a command line download utility. Next, we'll launch the ARIA 2 RPC server. Using apt install, we'll install git. Then we'll use the make dir command to create an ARIA 2 web UI working directory, followed by git clone to download the latest version of the source code into the working directory. With the ARIA 2 RPC server running, we can navigate to the ARIA 2 web UI working directory, then docs, and open index.html in a web browser. From the top navigation menu, select settings, connection settings. Enter the secret token we set for the ARIA 2 command line process, then save your changes. With the secret token set, we should now connect to the RPC server. Now that we've confirmed ARIA 2 is working, let's set it up to start at system startup. We'll start by killing the running ARIA 2C process. Then we'll create an ARIA 2 subfolder in the Etsy directory. Then we'll create an ARIA2.comp file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the configuration from the video description and edit as needed, then save your changes and close out of the nano editor. Next, we'll create an ARIA2 service file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy and paste the service configuration from the video description, then save your changes and close out of nano. Next, we'll enable the ARIA2 service to start at system boot, then start the ARIA2 service now. We now have ARIA2 running as a service. Navigate back to the web browser and refresh the ARIA2 web UI page. You may need to go back to settings and connection settings and reset the secret token. Now I'll quickly demonstrate how useful this tool can be by kicking off a download. From the top navigation, select Add by URIs, then paste the URL of the file you'd like to download. I configured ARIA2 to download into my home directory downloads folder, so I'll navigate there in File Manager to find the downloaded file. You now have a fully featured web-based download utility with ARIA2 Web UI running on Linux.